So, Jean Charest wants to be the Prime Minister of Canada. Well, as a Quebecer, uh, I've got a lot of experience with that man. Um, I remember in the 1980 referendum, when he couldn't be bothered to take a few moments to go vote no, uh, that was a one big deal breaker for me. But I was born and raised in a little town called Lennoxville, it's right outside of Sherbrooke, which is where Mr. Charret is from and where he served uh, during his time, uh, his former time in federal politics. He was Minister of Youth at a time when I was a youth, uh, and he was also, as I said, the Minister for my writing. And I remember Jean Charest actually speaking to the uh, honor roll class uh, at my high school. Um, the big story of the day was Tainted Tuna, which he made a joke about. Uh, and he went on a long diatribal speech uh, about getting good grades and this and that and all the other things. I remember Jean Charest raising taxes in Quebec. I remember Jean Charest uh, wanting to raise tuition fees to CJEPs and universities uh, in 2012. Uh, massive student protests uh, were in the streets of Quebec's cities and towns. Uh, people running up and down the streets banging pots in solidarity with the students until he backed off of the idea. I remember a lot of things about Jean Charest. I remember him jumping the gun so eager to put down one of our Olympians, even if it was a controversy, before the announcement even came out that Ben Johnson had been caught using steroids. That's right. His announcement beat the official one. He was so anxious to put our athletes under the bus. I remember Jean Charest in many different ways, and none of them are good. And let me tell you, when I fill out my ballot for the CPC leadership, as a Quebecer, as a Sherbrooker, as a youth, when you were youth minister, Jean Charest, je me souviens. You will not be leader. You might as well go back to working for Huawei uh, and trying to integrate them into Canada's 5G network. Yes, people, he was working for Huawei, trying to get Huawei integrated into Canada's 5G network, a company that is widely considered just a branch, a spy branch of the Chinese military and the Chinese government. So that's what you're looking at with Jean Charest. Now he's also flip-flopping on the Freedom Convoy, agreeing with Preston Manning about uh, different aspects of it and, and coming down on condemning the use of the Emergencies Act. It's a flip-flop. Nothing that you can say can convince me otherwise. Jean Charest is disingenuous and, in my opinion, has no business being a conservative because when he was the provincial leader here, the premier of Quebec, let's not forget, he ran under the liberal banner. Jean Charest is a liberal. He will always be a liberal. He's a flip-flopper. You can't trust him. End of story. You want my opinion? Vote for Pierre Poiliev for prime minister. And that's what it's about. Pierre Poiliev has been running for Prime Minister since the beginning of this whole thing. Not just as leader, there's a man who actually wants to do something. Jean Charest, if you're so interested in politics, where the heck have you been in the past decade on the political scene? Nowhere. That's where you should stay. Hey everybody, if you like the content you're seeing on this channel, help force the YouTube algorithm to get the word out. Comment, like, and share this video everywhere you can. Together, we can get things done. We can get the word out.